Rich. What's, what's the game plan so far? I see you got the patch pan screwed in. Yeah, we're gonna pre-fit the pans, make the additional pieces that didn't come with the front parts of the pans, stiffen up the torque box up here that's rotted out, make the eighth inch, that's gonna be the heavy plate metal up in here. This will be the 18 gauge there. Make those pieces, draw out everything that's on here, cut out all the access, weld it up nice and pretty. What'd you make that right there for? Huh? What'd you make that piece there for? That's for going in here to set this channel. Because you got this channel in here that's not quite the right shape. I made this piece to drop that in where it belongs so it matches up with this nice. Boom, boom sits everything because it was sitting all kind of funky so we've made a quick little thing to get it down where you be where you gotta be but then we get the holes through here to go all the way down so once you got so are, are these pans in for good right now no no these are pre-fits they're gonna get tacked where they gotta get welded trimmed off whatever's excess that doesn't need to be there marked off cut the inside floor pants the old dead ones out then weld these in nice and clean that way there'll be a nice clean floor pan here, nice clean floor pan there. Gotcha. Continue as well. Auto. I love this shirt by the way, man. Y'all remember that movie? That shit was cool as fuck, right? I don't know how old y'all is, but it's popping when we get y'all in. So. Anyway, me and Justin, we goonies for life. You know what I hey. mean? Straight up. Hey, but no, real shit. We out here, we rocking and rolling on uh, Mr. Lawson's car. He's one of our latest customers off of YouTube. Real good guy, just spoke with him. Inspirational story. Can't wait to do a take on his company, you know, just to you know, give basically to our customers to have their own business, you know, kind of do a highlight on them. But we're on this car, the 72. He already had pack pans from C to C, which was, you know, pre-made pans for the floors. It was one, two, three, four. So as you can see, the doesn't cover the whole floor it's just a panel that it actually covers so just an area here will be covered just like the area that you see Mr. Rich welding in now but you can see that the corrosion and rust goes beyond the patch panel it goes up the firewall so now you'll see that Mr. Rich is welding in a different piece that he fabricated for beyond that I think it's a good time to talk about floor pan um, it's, it's floor pans is pretty much exposed to the harshest element because the rock and everything is kicking everything up underneath the car right to your floorboard. You know, any water that settles in your car, you know, convertible rain gets in, it's going to puddle up on your floorboard. So there's a good chance that that's where the most corrosion and everything is going to be at. Um, if you, if you follow our channel, the YouTube, uh, social media, Instagram, you notice we did uh, a lot of metal work on the Monte Carlos that we built. You know, the Monte Carlo is an A-body car that they make aftermarket pans for. They, you got you could buy the whole floor pan with the braces, everything brand new. You could buy the trunk pan, you have to do a little bit of modifying to it, but it's a new trunk pan. You could buy quarters. Uh, you could buy a roof panel, you know, you could buy deck fillers, the, the firewall complete. You can buy all of this stuff because there's the demand for it. It's company manufacturers out there that know it's going to be millions of people buying these products. That's why they make them. Where some vehicles, they don't. Uh, they don't make all of those parts for the Caprice. Maybe soon now to see the value and the demand that these cars bring, maybe they will start making them. But as of now, you only can get the patch pan inserts and they're not 100% OEM. But they work well. Mr. Rich like them. Of course, it is a little massaging that you got to do, but you know, this is what we do here. It's just normal workout, breakfast in the morning for us, so.
Hey, Mr. Rich, where's that piece that you made for the bottom? I think it's pretty. I think this is pretty dope as well. So, it's a cowl, blocker, combination, body mount support. It goes in like this. This, is, this started off as a flat piece of metal. Um, he made a template for it, cut it out. If you've seen the manufacturing of it, it was separate. And then he brought all the pieces together, welded everything up. You know, continues well, solid, and it, it's a perfect fit. You're gonna see in the time in the videos to come how it goes in. But this is what happens when you don't have a manufacturer that makes the parts. You gotta have someone savvy enough that can hand make it. And that's what we do here at VTSB Auto. Sometimes we don't have the liberty and the option of having a part that's manufactured. And when you get them, when they, when we make it here, you're gonna get a more robust part. You know, for the bottom part of the body mount bracing, he used eighth inch steel. It wasn't that thick from the factory. You know, this is 16 gauge metal here. It probably was close to 18 from the factory before. So it's a lot thicker. You know, manufacturers are gonna use, they're gonna be cost conscious as well too. If we're making a replication, we're not gonna use the most expensive metal. But here, you know, we're not buying in volume, we're buying per vehicle. So we're gonna use something that's even more stout than it was from the factory. So this is what happens if you have a vehicle such as my Cadillac, they don't make aftermarket metal for it. They have certain little patch pans as well. A lot of the stuff, you, if you've seen the video, we made the body mounts. They sell those. We made them from scratch because of the, you know, the strong metal that we choose to use is going to be a lot stronger than the aftermarket piece. So you can see everything being taken out now. The uh, steering column is gone. Your evaporator is gone. Most of the wiring is gone. Inside of the car, you can see that the dashboard is already taken out. Mr. Rich took the dashboard out today. Um, I helped him with one boat out of 800, so give me my credit. Thank you very much. Anyway, thank you, sir. Um, yes, sir. Yes. Sir. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta got you gotta get you a shot of that dash out, just so like. That's, you know, these are the things that we have to do. It's not a simple just get to it and right weld. And sometimes you got to remove the dash panel. What we do here at VTSB, we try to keep a track of all of our stuff because we ran into issues trying to locate parts because we do cars and sometimes it'd be a six month gap in between working on them. So now we just got shelled solely for one car. All of these parts are gonna be Mr. Lofton parts, any parts, everything's gonna be bagged and tagged, labeled, we're gonna know everything where it goes. And then once it's time to put everything back together, it's not a, a headache of trying to find everything. So we're gonna shelve it, bag it, tag it, you know, get everything back together. So, but now the process is started. Y'all stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, support, uh, share, tell your mama. You know, everybody about us, you know, tell him he's handsome, they got do good work, you know, we learn through days, and he have his kids here too, he's a good dad, you know, tell him all of that. Y'all come back and check us out, VTSB Auto.